Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be talking about what Nuketown returned in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, as you guys already know, Nuketown was a map in Black Ops 1 and was also brought back in Black Ops 2. And in my opinion, it's one of the top 10 maps in Call of Duty history. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised at all to see Nuketown return in Black Ops 3 because, like I said, it is in all the other Black Ops series, and the community really did enjoy playing on that uh, certain map. But if Trek were to bring back Nuketown, a bunch of changes are gonna have to be made. Like the map will probably have to be a little bit bigger than normal to compensate for the new movement system Because the dashing system is really going to make it a lot easier to travel around the map But I don't think Trek is going to make the map that much bigger if it is in fact going to be in Black Ops 3 Now I also have an image to show you guys that was in the reveal for Black Ops 3 And there was a very fast clip of a scene that looked very similar to Nuketown The image is up on screen and as you can tell one distinct characteristic is the truck in the middle of the map And it does look a lot like like the truck from Black Ops 2 Nuketown but there is one thing that the Black Ops 2 Nuketown image has that is very different from the trailer image and that is the background if you look closely to the left and right sides of the Black Ops 3 image there really isn't much everything is kind of blurred out but it does look like there is another truck to uh, the left of the to the left of the Black Ops 3 image and uh, if you look through the middle of the truck there really isn't much besides some trees but there's also one thing missing and that is another truck in the Black Ops 2 image there was a school bus across from the original truck and if you look at the Black Ops 3 image there isn't another truck but like I said there's just a bunch of trees but Trek could have changed up the map design to better the new movement system but uh, who knows guys in my opinion this image does look very similar to Nuketown tell me what you guys think in the comments could this image be related to Nuketown uh, maybe Nuketown 2065 that's what I'm going to call it because uh, that's the year that Black Ops 3 is based in so yeah guys tell me your thoughts down in the comments also please jump like the video if you guys did enjoy and make sure to subscribe for the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news, rumors, and information. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. The Reaver. Hope you guys will have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go.